ang i-cover ko ngayon ay ang heat transfer. So, magsosolve ako ng dalawang problems para may paliwanag ito. First, alam natin na ang heat transfer by conduction ay nangyayari yan sa usually ay solids. Mabagal siya sa liquid at pinakababagal sa gas. Sa vacuum ay wala na. Alam na natin na ang heat transfer ay directly proportional sa thermal conductivity. Sa area na dinadaanan ng heat, kung maliit o malaki, syempre mas mabilis pag malaki. Yung temperature difference, mas mainit yung isa, mas malamig yung isa. Syempre, pag uh, mas malaki yung difference niya, mas, ma mas mabilis yung heat transfer. Kung mas maunti naman yung difference, mabagal lang yung heat transfer. At uh, yung thickness din o kapal nung dinadaanan. Kunwari dito dadaan yung heat, yan, papunta rin sa kabila. Yan. Ito yung heat ah, thickness. Kung kakapalan natin yan, doble, yan. di mas mabagal ngayon kasi mas maraming dadaanan yung heat. Okay? So, sample tayo. The blood play, plays an important role in removing heat from the body by bringing this heat directly to the surface where it can radiate away. Nevertheless, this heat must still travel through the skin before it can radiate away. We shall assume that the blood is brought to the bottom layer of the skin at a temperature of 36.5 degrees Celsius and that the outer surface of the skin is at 30 degrees Celsius. The skin varies in thickness from 0.5 millimeters to a few millimeters on the palms and soles. So, we shall assume an average thickness of 0.75 millimeters. A 165 pound 6 foot tall person has a surface area of 2 meter square and loses heat at a net rate of 75 watts while resting. On the basis of our assumptions, what is the thermal conductivity of this person's skin? Alright. Uh, maganda itong problem na to dahil uh, dinidemonstrate ito na yung uh, heat transfer from inside our body to outside ay hindi actually pure conduction. Makikita natin na uh, maliit lang yung yung heat transfer by conduction. Uh, usually ito ay convection through the blood. Pero titignan natin ngayon itong problem na to. Kunwari itong mga assumptions na to. Ano ang thermal conductivity ng human? Alright. Or skin. skin. Okay? So unahin natin yung pagsulat ng given para alam natin kung ano yung mga meron na, ano yung wala pa. Unahin natin yung ating given. Meron tayong ditong dalawang temperatures. Meron yung isa, mas mainit. So, hot temperature or higher temperature, 36.5 degree Celsius. Yung isa naman, mas malamig. Let's call this TC or colder temperature, 30 degree Celsius. Uh, sinasabi niya yung average thickness ay 0.75 millimeters <clears throat> or tawagin natin yung L. Okay, 0.75 millimeters. And, and then, meron tayong uh, weight. 165 pounds. And then, height. Say, HT. Ay, 6 feet. Tangkad. Uh, area of about 2 square meters and loses heat at a rate of 75 watts or 75 joules for every second so uh, this is the rate of heat transfer okay uh, tawagin na lang natin Q over T or heat, heat transfer per unit time or so 75 watts or 75 joules per second on the basis of our assumption, what is thermal conductivity? In this case, we name this as K. Alright? So, yan ang nasabi natin kanina. We know that the uh, rate of heat transfer varies directly with thermal conductivity K, area, and of course the uh, temperature difference delta T. At inversely naman sa thickness L. Siyempre, mas makapal, mas mahaba yung travel. Kung mas manipes, mas, mas mabilis yung 
pagtravel ng heat. Alright. So, ang kailangan lang pala natin ay Q over T. Ito. K. Ayan uh, na yan. A. Kailangan din natin yan. Delta T. So, ibig sabihin. So, subtract natin itong dalawang to And L. 0.75 millimeters. But take note. In uh, your calculation, always remember to make the units uh, the same. If you are using SI, KMS for example, kilograms, meter, meter and second, then see to it that all units are in kilograms, meter, second. Our unit for area is M squared and length is in millimeters. So we must make this meter as well. The simple way is we know that uh, for every 1 millimeter, there are 1 times 10 to negative 3 meters. So, immediately we know that. So, that's 0 0.75 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters. And now, we are ready. So, therefore, we don't need the, this one. Also, we don't need this one. Okay. So, substituting Q over T, that's 75 watts. K, that's the unknown we're looking for. A is 2 meters square. Delta T, meaning we subtract the high to low temperature, 36.5 degrees Celsius minus 30 degrees Celsius will be 6.5. We divide that by... 0 0.75 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters. So, what we can do is first to multiply the numerator here and the denominator here. So, that should give us 75 times 0.75 times 10 to negative 3 is 0 0.05625 five. Watt meter equals now we can subtract 36.5 and 30 so that's 6.5 multiply that by 2 should give us 13 uh, meter square degree Celsius and then now we can we now divide by 13 meter square degree Celsius the same on the other side yeah, and then equals. This should give us 0 0.0043. What is the unit? You see here, we can cancel 1M and 1M here. So, so now we have a unit of watts, meter, degree, Celsius. This is the K. The skin of the human in this particular problem. This very, and all these assumptions. Alright? Alternatively, we can also input this in our capable calculator and use the solve function. Here, I am using a calculator from Google Play Store. Next, two rooms, it's a cube, 4 meter per side, share a 15.24 centimeter thick brick wall. Because of a number of 100 watt light bulbs in one room, the air is at 30 degrees Celsius, while in the other room, it is at 10 degrees Celsius. How many of the 100 watt bulbs are needed to maintain the temperature difference across the wall? Alright, so let's first draw. Okay, so room 1 is here. Then, uh, room 2 is here. Let's say this is the, the hotter room, 30 degrees Celsius. This is the colder room, 10 degrees Celsius. So, heat transfers from the hot air region to cold region here. Towards that region here. Alright. So, this is the thickness of the brick wall 
Oke, okay, shell cold up L. This is the hot temperature. Cold temperature. This is the area to which our heat passes through. It says here, 4 meters per side. So that's 4, 4. So it should give us an area of 16 square meters. The question is, how many 100 watt bulbs are needed to maintain the temperature differences across the wall? So we know that the light bulbs must come here. Two few light bulbs, then the heat transfer through the wall might be faster. Room 2 will become hot. Too many bulbs and this room will become hot. The temperature difference will not be maintained. So we need to find the exact number of 100 watt light bulbs. Alright, so how to do that? We should calculate the rate of heat transfer through this wall. That's uh, conduction Q over T, K A delta T over L. The K for brick wall is 0 0.84 watts per meter degree Celsius. Multiply by the area, 16 meters square. Delta T, that should be 30 minus 10 degrees Celsius. Divide by the thickness of the wall. Again, this should be in meter. So that will give us 0 0.1524. In putting all this, this should give us 1000. 763 watts. Why watts? Let's see. M. We cancel M here. And we cancel another M. We cancel degrees Celsius here. And what remains is watts. We have created watts. So that's the rate of heat transfer through the wall. Now, what we are interested in is how many light bulbs should be in this side of the wall, or room 1. To do that, we can, co we can convert this into bulb. Number of bulb here, per... Um, yung discarte ko dito sa ganito, para maiwan lang yung bulb na unit, dapat cancel natin yung watts. Kung nasa taas yung watts, ilagay natin sa baba para makancel. So, ganito lang, one bulb. over 100 watts kasi sabi dito 100 watts bulb okay so cancel watts so meron tayong 17.63 bulbs of course wala namang kalahating bulb so lalagay na natin 18 bulbs yan ang kailangan to maintain the temperature difference uh, between two rooms. Two rooms 